A short while ago, I made a music video for a Finnish rock band called Willie and the Good Souls. You wanna know, wanna see it? Ain't got my civilized future yet. This is the look we achieved. We did it with a 6 meter by 3 meter top light softbox. I shot with a Sony FS5 and a Canon 7200 2.8 and a Sony A7 III with a Samyang 85. We decided to do something really simple, really well. We found a warehouse space that we borrowed from the city of Turku. The plan was to make a performance style video in an abandoned warehouse. For a while I've been watching people on YouTube make DIY top lights. From anything from plastic bags to swimming pool lilos. They were even using helium. All sorts of brilliant, wonderful, crazy ideas. I knew it needed to be massive and I knew it needed to be cheap. I found photo grade diffusion fabric on Amazon for £12.49. It was 6 metres by 1.5 metres. I bought two and sewed it together. Now I knew the dimensions of my light box. It was 6 by 3 metres. In the past I've used PVC tubes to make a handle for my Ronin MX. I've made a dolly track. It's incredibly cheap and easy to work with. And if you use PVC bonding glue, it's actually quite strong. It meant the plastic tubes was the obvious choice to make my frame. So I came up with this design. It was the strongest I could make it with a minimum amount of material. All in, it came to 50 meters of 20 mil PVC tube and a whole lot of junctions. To reinforce the fabric, I used eyelets. One tip for these little brass eyelets is to use one big hammer and do it gently with one hit. I found a small hammer and multiple hits warped them. If you have a sledgehammer, use that. For the next chapter, we move to the warehouse. So, first things first, we take the plastic tubes, which were so big they didn't fit in my car. And we're going to lay them out so it all makes a bit of sense. Now in theory, they should just zip tie together. I really don't want to take my gloves off to do this. So there you have it, that's the first time I've seen it together as well. Uh, it's a little bit bendy because it's made of bendy plastic, but um, we're going to hang it up with enough pieces of string and support it all over the place so that it doesn't bend when it's supported. I think it's going to hold the weight of the fabric and the lights, and that's all it really needs to do. It's not taking any more punishment than that. First, I'm going to lay out the lights and then we're going to zip tie them to the frame in five meter strips, ready for the diffusion fabric that goes underneath. Let's see what she looks like. to attach the black fabric to the front of it and then drape all the other bits behind. I am going to have to cut an awful lot of holes in that fabric but uh, we'll do our best. So then, it's finished. I'm not sure how many stages of the process I missed in the making of. But now, I'm going to turn it on.
doesn't look that bright. Doesn't look nearly as bright as I was expecting. We're missing a whole f***ing row of lights, which I'm going to have to sort out tomorrow. But, there it is. Willie and the Good Souls, future video. Take one. Action. In the end, the diffusion fabric was 28 euros, plastic pipe was 48 euros, junctions were 139 euros, the lights came to 90 euros, the back fabric was 18 euros, the plastic glue was 17, rope was 13 euros, eyelets were 11, pulleys to pull the whole thing up to the ceiling were 10 euros, cable ties came to 6 euros, and some eye screws for 2 euros. That's a grand total of 382 euros for a 6 meter by 3 meter light box. I dare say you'll be able to do it cheaper because I did it in Finland, which is really quite an expensive country. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.